tell me about uh, your character in the this. the trailer movie. tell you the whole thing? Uh, no, unfortunately oh, not. Oh, no, I don't have scruff. It's not <laughs> much of the trailers. It's only the first episode. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, what can I tell you about it? I mean, it's just a lot of things that you're going to learn. Stuff you not, might not be clear on what's happening in the first couple episodes, but it gets revealed later on. I think that the filmmaking, we're in good hands, the people that are in the film, like uh, the people that the, the directors like M. Night Shyamalan and the other directors we brought in, that they'll execute it in a way that, okay, you might not know what's going on, but you know you're in good hands. Yeah. You're going to find out. As yeah, you yeah. Know. Um, for my character, he goes through quite a he goes through quite a quite a journey. I mean, beginning he's really sort of finding his bearings in this town. He's been in an accident while investigating the disappearance of his colleague, who actually was his lover, Father Gugino's character. Right. And he's just sort of finding his bearings. But then, because he's an investigator by nature. After he realizes it's not all in his head, he's able to sort of put things together, and he becomes much more active in yeah. discovering things. So right, he right. learns some things. Well, do you find that TV, like working in TV, is much more like working in film now, as because it's much more of director-driven medium well, at this point? Yeah, I think that the tone was set on this with Night Shyamalan wanted mm -hmm. to make this more cinematic, which is really reason that I came on board. So yeah. want, you know, so I think that the thing that I learned on it is with television, there's no, there's no ending, there's no beginning. It's really more like life. Is. You just mm -hmm. keep going forward, and it's about character. So in a way, it's more epic, you know, potentially. I mean, this is a limited show, so right. you're going to learn, it sets stuff up at the beginning and it comes to an end. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You know, it's 10 episodes, and in that time, you know, we're learning more about these characters. In a film, we would have been locked down to like 90 minutes to two hours. Right, How right. do you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think potentially television is the most exciting medium because of if you don't have to compromise. Right. The problem is often it gets compromised. So. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and last question. Um, what are your perceptions of Comic-Con? Have you been before? I've never been. Well, it's, it's wild. It's a real community. I mean, I see a lot of people dressed in some very strange costumes. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I think it's, it's interesting to see. I guess it's a pretty diverse event. I mean, there's, yeah. you, have, you have the entertainment industry, and you also have the comic industry mm -hmm. coming together. Yeah. Uh, fiction, storytelling. I think there's a little something for a lot of people, so it's an yeah. interesting group. It's a good place to introduce a show like this, I think, because it's a, it, it could definitely be like one of those sort of cult fan-driven shows, I think, Wayward Pines. Oh, yeah, I think for sure. It definitely yeah. has that. Yeah, yeah. And I think that seems to be the reaction that it, people have to it is like they want to learn more right they want to know more as it goes on. Yeah, yeah. which is i think that ultimately for me i was not interested in doing a, a episodic series more of a serial mm -hmm. something that's ongoing that's the beauty of it that's that's movies plus yeah in a way because yeah. you now can spread that story out as opposed to being a, a, a miniature movie each week yeah yeah, yeah. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.